Hello, this is Anita of Walnut Farm Designs, and I had a few hemp products that I wanted to show you while I had them here. Um, I got this hemp stems recently from the Hermitage, um, and this is the Dew Redded. You see how gray it is, and what I wanted to show you, if you can see here, is how the fibers are on the outside of the hemp stems. This is dew redded. It's been left out on the grass or in the rain or dew. Um, and you can see how it grays the fiber as it breaks down the pectins and things holding it together. Um, this is unredded. I got this unredded. And so you see the stems, the fiber does not come off that central stem. So I have had this laying just for one rain. Um, some of the stems did gray already, but just one rain out in the grass and you can see the fiber not coming off. So this is water redded. It has been put in a tank or in a stream or whatever. And um, I have a stem here of it. And you can see how it has broken it down. And so you can see that the fibers are coming off. And you see that it's a blonde color. Now this, I may not know enough about this, but as you see, these water redded stems seem to come off in flat strips. And they're still a little stuck together there between the fibers. But if you look here on, I prefer dew redded, I think, because I think that it's more broken down. You can, like, you can have it out on the grass, take it, just give it a little more time on the grass. Whereas water redding, I think they pull it when it's pretty good and still I think it could be broken down a little bit more, make it a little softer, make it a little finer. So right now I'm, uh, preferring dew redded. So this I believe is dew redded flax. Now this isn't hemp, this is dew redded flax. You can see it's a little more gray. This is water redded uh, flax straight from Egypt. I was just be able to make a connection with a man in Egypt who was so kind to um, send me this fiber and it's very long, this flax straight from Egypt. I was able to see the guys in a video preparing this. You can see how long that fiber is, but you see how blonde it is. It's a little coarser and because of the climate in Egypt, they cannot do ret. They can only water ret. Uh, because they don't have the climate for lots of rain and dew coming down. Um, so as you can see, a little coarser, but that really nice blonde color that uh, water redding will give you like the hemp. But again, this is flax. This is flax, really nice and fine. This is line flax, really long. This is a comb top preparation where the fibers are shorter. Um, you can spin this from the fold um, easily and you see how long the fibers are there, but really nice and fine, very softer linen. Um, here I wanna, oh, this is, this again is water redded comb top of, of uh, flax. So this is the long line flax. This is a comb top of shorter pieces. This is just some stumpy ends of, of flax that I grew myself, I was just, they're just short little pieces, not good, but you can see, and this was a little bit over wetted, redded, I'm sorry. Um, the fiber comes off a brittle inner stem in this flax. So you can see in this flax that's been dew redded, I can just break away that inner woody stem and there is the fiber on the outside. And again, the hemp um, has, the fiber all on the outside. Here's the, the brittle stem in the middle, the fibers on the outside. And again, with the flax, the fibers on the outside. So here um, is hemp top. This is a white bleached hemp top, and this is, it's comb top. So shorter fibers, great for blending with things. That's hemp that's been bleached. Here's, I think this obviously was a water redded hemp uh, comb top. Short, soft fibers. Um, 
So look how short the fibers are compared to uh, the big long hemp stems as it naturally grows. But I think that they do the comb top so that it is short and it can be blended with cotton, which is the short staple, with a combed flax, um, with any other fibers, they can easily, be, it can easily be blended in the factories or at home yourself. And here is dyed hemp. I have a lot of dyed hemp and dyed flax available. So these little short fibers are really easy to put on your hand cards or on um, a blending board or whatever and make your own custom uh, plant blend. So I hope this just gives you a little bit of visual, better visual knowledge um, and understanding of hemp as it grows. And I really wanted to get these products because when you handle it and see it yourself and deal with it yourself, you gain such an understanding, a better understanding of what you're dealing with and how amazing these plant fibers are.